Hi Scorpio, this is your June mid-month tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads on this mid-month reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at love and uh, it could be existing love, love from the past, new love, whatever comes up. The second spread is going to be some good news for you Scorpio for the second half of June. And uh, in the third spread we'll be looking at an advice for you Scorpio for the remainder of this month. Please like, comment and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on love, Scorpio. We have uh, the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Chariot, the Six of Wands, clarified by the Two of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Sun with the Star and the Lovers. And we have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing uh, with a fellow water sign, uh, Cancer, not a Scorpio or Pisces. We also have uh, maybe a Sagittarius. And besides that, we also have uh, Leo, Aquarius and Gemini. All right, <laughs> so this is either new love with a brand new person entering your life or it's new love with somebody you already know. All right, Scorpio, we start with the Three of Pentacles. This is how you either already know this person or will know, uh, will get to know them starting in the second half of June. And the thing about the Three of Pentacles, it could be interpreted so many different ways, right? The Three of Pentacles is when a group of people, at least two, <laughs> get together and do something together. All right? Um, so for some of you, it could be somebody you work with. Uh, it could be just a friend, a new friend who is joining your circle of friends. Or maybe this is somebody who is already an acquaintance or somebody you already work with. If you are taking uh, summer school at your local college or university, maybe this is somebody who is in the same class with you. Maybe you're joining some sort of a group, some sort of a club. Right, then this person will be in that group, will be in that club, or if you are already a part of a group or a club, right, with common interest, then maybe this is a new person joining in. So it could be somebody who is in your Zumba class, in your salsa class, in your uh, gym, what have you. You see, it's just so many different ways to interpret it. But again, it's definitely a, when a group of people get together and do something together. Maybe somebody you work with. Right? The Wheel of Fortune, clarifying the Three of Pentacles. Um, it could be like a new beginning. Maybe you're going on a trip with this group of people. Right? It could be pleasure or business trip. But uh, the Wheel of Fortune is a start of a new cycle, right? Uh, it could also be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. The Wheel of Fortune could be interpreted as multiple zodiac signs. I usually go with a Sagittarius, right? But uh, it's a major kind of card. It's either a, a trip that you're going on um, or it's simply a start of a cycle. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups, right? Uh, so it could be a fellow water sign, Cancer, Knight of Scorpio, or Pisces. But the Knight of Cups is the most romantic, the most caring, the most loving knight out of all four knights, all right? And uh, this knight is often referred to as the Knight in the Shining Armor. And then right next to the Three of Pentacles, going back to the beginning, we have the Chariot. So the Chariot could be a Cancer. You know, the Chariot is a Cancer Major kind of card. But it could also be interpreted as a card of literally going somewhere. It could be a card of transportation. Maybe this person is somehow associated with transportation. All right. But uh, it's also a card of victory and success. It's a card of moving forward and not looking back. The Six of Wands, the next card over, is also a victory card. <laughs> so you have to victories right maybe you're in a sports team and your your team is winning <laughs> or something like that all right um, the six of ones is also a card of a lot of attention a lot of attention so you're definitely going to be in the center of this person's universe all right and uh, the six of ones is clarified by the two of cups uh, the two of cups features two people as you can see it's a card of a soulmate connection it's a card of a unconditional love it's a card of when two people are on the same page feeling the same way towards one another all right maybe you're going on a business trip uh, and you're closing a deal and you're on the same team or something like that. I don't know. Again, so many ways to interpret this. Um, and uh, in the potential outcome, every single card in it is a major arcana card. Right? Every single one of them. In addition to the two major arcana cards we had early in the, in the spread. The Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot. As a matter of fact, I think there is more major arcana cards than minor arcana cards on the table. Anyway, in the potential outcome we have the Sun, the Star, and the Lovers. Beautiful, amazing energy. The Sun could be a Leo, the Star could be an Aquarius, the Lovers could be a Gemini. We're still wrapping up a Gemini birthday season, by the way. Right? And uh, at the same time, the lovers is kind of similar to the Two of Cups, right? 
it's very similar to the Two of Cups, but it's like even higher vibrationally speaking, right? The Lovers is also a soulmate card. The Lovers it could be the love of your life, right? The Lovers um, is also like a twin flame connection if you believe in twin flames. All right, then the, the sun could be a Leo, as I already mentioned. The sun is a card of clarity, and it's the happiest card in the deck. The star could be an Aquarius, or it's simply a wish come true. P something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. The lovers is also a card of a choice, but so late in the, in the reading, um, the only choice I could think of is where you guys are going to be living together, right? Or where you guys are going to get married. That type of a choice. <laughs> Alright, um, so yeah, this looks awesome, beautiful, amazing, really happy for you, Scorpio. Congratulations. Here's some good news for you, Scorpio, for the second half of June. We have uh, the Page of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Wands. We have the King of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Cups. We have the High Priestess. And uh, we have the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing uh, with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So the good news is somehow associated with that King of Swords. And uh, this is somebody from your past, all right? Or maybe they want to invite you <laughs> to go somewhere you've been before, all right? Um, the thing about this reading is um, the very last card that came out is the High Priestess, right? The High Priest. I never clarify the High Priestess if it's the last card that comes out. So, so there it is. The High Priestess could be interpreted as a card of intuition, or it could be interpreted as a as a card of a secret, or both intuition and secret. All right, but it's this spread is supposed to be good news for you, Scorpio. Right? So the King of Swords is most likely an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or maybe this person is like a lawyer or somebody who works for the government. So maybe good news is associated with the with this lawyer or government or what have you. Right? On the bottom of the deck we have that Six of Cups, which is a card of the past. It's also a soulmate card. And the thing about the Six of Cups, it doesn't have to be like. A, somebody whom you used to be in love with or <laughs> or somebody you were in a relationship with right the six of cups is usually associated with the past all right and uh, one thing i noticed is that we're usually glad to see or hear people from the past if the six of cups shows up right if this king of swords is a gemini maybe it's their birthday that's coming up because we're still wrapping up a uh, gemini birthday season maybe their birthday is still coming up right um or um, it could be that the King of Swords wish is being granted because they're clarified by the Nine of Cups. It is a card of a satisfaction and fulfillment. It is a card of a wish come true. And uh, it could also be a card of an event. Right? So for some of you, the Nine of Cups is an event associated with this King of Swords. The first two cards, the Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands, these are communication cards. Communication. And at the same time, the Page of Swords could be a card of, um, like, spying. <laughs> Maybe you'll notice something about this King of Swords, right? Maybe it's a secret, or for some of you, if it is a Gemini, it could be like a surprise birthday party for this person or something like that, right? Because the High Priestess, like I said, could be a card of a secret. But, uh, yeah, again, just like in the first spread, this spread could also be interpreted so many different ways, but uh, for the tenth time, it's most likely uh, an air sign, or maybe a government worker or a lawyer. It has something to do with the past. It's supposed to be good news. This person could be throwing a party, or they're just they're just sharing some good news with you, and uh, you're going to be happy for this King of Swords or something along those lines. All right, cool. Here's an advice for you, Scorpio, for the remainder of this month. We have uh, the Tower, we have the King of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Sun, and uh, we also have the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign. Here is Leo Sagittarius, we also have um, an Aquarius on the table. Um, the advice for you is to either work things out with this King of Wands or work with them. Or if maybe you're experiencing some sort of a difficulty with work, if you're looking for a new job, perhaps this King of Wands can help you find one, right? <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's what this spread is all about. So the King of Wands in the middle, that's the person you're going to be dealing with, or maybe already are dealing with it. So it could be a fire sign, near is Leo Sagittarius, or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. If they're not a fire sign, it could be somebody maybe who is like a recruiter or somebody you work with or could be working with. Alright, because the Eight of Pentacles clarifying 
the king of wands could be interpreted as a card of work, business and finances, right? Or it's a card of working things out or diligently working on something. The first card I come out is the tower. Okay, it's actually one of your major arcana cards. But at the same time, if we forget for a second, uh, the tower is uh, one of your major arcana cards. Perhaps this is what happened between the two of you in the past. Or this is something that may happen. This is when things don't go according to plan. Right? This is when things uh, maybe even fall apart. And perhaps things fell apart between you and this person. Or again, if you're looking for a job, maybe this is somebody who can help you find a job. Or, if again, if you had some sort of a fallout, you and this person did, then uh, the Eight of Pentacles is working things out. The star on the bottom of the deck could be an Aquarius, you know, but the star could be a card of healing for those of you who had a fallout. But for others of you, the star could be a card of a wish come true. All right, wish come true. And uh, the sun right next to the deck could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the sun is also the happiest card in the deck. So, again, for the tenth time, the advice is something to do with this king of wands. For some of you, it's work-related or maybe working things out with this person. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you for this reading for this um, time period. <laughs> if this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. But other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing the rest of the month.